Do you know what time it is? How about you, Lucy? It's time for story time on the back porch. I'm Lisa, that's Lucy, that's Lila, and this is Litzy. We've got a great story today, right girls? Have you ever thought about what it would be like if your mom and dad weren't around? Or what would your mom and dad think about it if you weren't around? Well, that's what our story is about today. It's called, If I Didn't Have You, by Alan Katz, and the pictures are drawn by Chris Robertson. Let's find out what it would be like. How come you don't have a car like that, Dad? Mike asked as a sleek speedster roared down their street. Well, there are three people in this family, and that car only seats two, his dad replied. So you could have a custom-built sports car with racing stripes if you didn't have me, asked Mike. I wouldn't trade you for anything, son, Dad answered. And I suppose I could drive that car if I didn't have you, but I'd rather have you. Well, I could stay up until midnight every night, said Mike, if I didn't have you. I imagine you could, his dad replied. Yes, you probably could. And I would never have to clean my room if I didn't have you. Know what else, Mike said? I could eat candy for every meal if I didn't have you. If you did that, you wouldn't have to brush your teeth either, because you wouldn't have any teeth. Mike's dad said. Mike couldn't decide if that would be a good thing or not. Hey, Dad, what could you do if you didn't have me? Mike asked. Well, I suppose I could take skydiving lessons if I didn't have you, but I'd rather have you. Well, Dad, I could stay home from school and play video games all day if I didn't have you. I could use your room to house my personal butler if I didn't have you, Dad said. I could adopt as many pets as I want if I didn't have you. Well, I could take a year-long journey around the globe in a hot air balloon if I didn't have you, Dad offered. But you'd rather have me, Mike asked. Absolutely, Dad said. I could join the circus if I didn't have you. I could pursue my dream of becoming a rock star if I didn't have you. I could put my bare, stinky feet on the dining room table during dinner if I didn't have you. Why would you want to do that? Dad asked. Oh yeah, never mind, Mike said. But I could play really loud music and dance like crazy whenever I felt like it if I didn't have you. Well, you can dance like crazy with me, Dad said. Really? Mike asked. Of course. So Mike put on his favorite song as loud as the stereo would play it, and he and Dad danced and danced and danced and danced, and danced throughout the house. When the song was over, they played it again and again and again. Dad? Mike said as he huffed and puffed when the dancing stopped. I didn't really mean I'd rather stay up all night and watch TV all the time and have nonstop candy and join the circus and everything. I know, said Dad and Mike. I didn't really mean I'd prefer the butler and the hot air balloon trip and all the other stuff. Mike smiled. I'd rather have you, Dad. I'd rather have you, Mike. Then Mom walked in. She saw the couch where the chair used to be and the cushions on the kitchen counter and the lamp lying on the floor. She slapped her cheeks in surprise and said, I'd have a neat, calm, peaceful home if I didn't have you. But you'd rather have us, right, dear? Dad said. Yeah, Mom. You'd rather have us, right? Mike echoed. Right? Finally, Mom said, Yes, I'd rather have you. Of course, what I'd really like is a custom-built sports car with racing stripes. Can you believe Mom said that? 
What was your favorite part of this story? I loved it when Dad did the crazy dance with Mike. If I Didn't Have You by Alan Katz. It's a fun book. Well, you can read stories with us anytime by subscribing right here to our YouTube channel.